Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Let's take a look at resources in Primavera P6. What are resources? In project management, resources fall into three main categories. These are labour, materials and equipment. In Primavera P6, resources can be assigned to activities. While a schedule activity describes a piece of work to be performed, a resource assignment describes the skills, materials or equipment that will be required to complete the work. It also describes the number of hours or material quantities needed. In Primavera, resource assignments can also assist the project manager in assessing the planned cost of the work. The quality and availability of resources will also influence when certain work can happen and how long it will take. Therefore, a particular resource's skill level and availability will have an impact on the activity duration and ultimately the critical path. Therefore, a resource-loaded schedule provides a more complete picture of the project from both a time and cost perspective. If your project is resource constrained, then resource loading the schedule is much more important. Indeed, if you intend to resource load a project, it is preferable that you assign your resources before you start work on the activity duration estimates. This is because the resources you choose will influence the duration of the work. For example, if you assigned a senior designer to an activity, it may well take less time to complete than if a junior designer is assigned. So the choice of resources can have a direct impact on the duration estimate. This skill level factor will also have some cost implications that need to be considered. Resources in Primavera P6 Let's take a look at resources in the Primavera P6 resources view. In P6, resources are global, meaning they can be used by any project in the system. P6 supports three types of resource. These are labour, non-labour and materials. We can see these options in the Details tab at the bottom of the layout screen. Labour resources are used to describe trades, skills or even named individuals. Non-labour is generally used for subcontractors, machinery and equipment. Material resources are used for depletable or consumable items such as lumber, metal, fuel and so on. You can also assign a calendar to a resource. This controls when the resource is available for work. This typically most applies to labour resources. And you can also assign a default unit's time value, which is the amount that will be allocated to a resource when it is initially assigned to an activity. In the Units and Prices tab, you can see that every resource can have a cost assigned. An effective date option also means that you can increase the cost over time and allow for escalation and forward pricing. You can also see a field here called Max Units Time. This tells P6 how many of a particular resource you have, and this is used to help in capacity planning. For example, we can see that Site Foreman has a value of 20 hours per day. And because this person works four 10-hour shifts per week, we can tell that in 2017 there are two full-time foremen. We know this because we have 20 hours per day of foreman time available to us. In 2018, the number goes up to 30 hours per day, meaning there will be three site foremen available going forward from 2018. P6 takes the hourly rate and multiplies it by the number of hours a resource is assigned to an activity. That way, P6 can calculate an estimated cost for completing a particular piece of work in the project. Now, let's take a look at the basics of making a resource assignment in Primavera P6. As we've already stated, the resource assignment may influence the overall duration of the activity. In this first example, however, we are assigning the foreman full-time to the project management activity. This is a level of effort activity whose duration is determined by the activities to which it's linked. 
Level of effort activities are linked to other activities using a start to start and a finish to finish relationship. In this case, project management needs to continue for the entire duration of the project. So the activities being linked to the project start and project finish milestones respectively. To create the resource assignment, we select the project management activity. Now we turn our attention to the bottom details area. In the resources tab, we can assign one or more resources to a selected activity using the add resource button. Clicking the add resource button opens the assign resources dialog. In here, we can use the search field to find a particular resource. In this case, we start to type foreman in the search field. We click the assign button to add this resource to the activity. We can now click the close button to view the results of the assignment. You can see in this example that we've assigned the foreman to the project management activity. The total duration for this activity is currently estimated at 59 days. With the foreman working 10 hours per day, 4 days per week, we see that the budgeted units are 590. Units in this case represent labour hours. These hours have then been multiplied by the foreman's hourly rate to give us a budgeted cost. Therefore, as we build up resource assignments on the activities, so we build a good estimate of the project's overall cost. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.